Okay, we wanted to have a little fun with this video and, and demonstrate a photochemistry version of a well-known traffic light experiment. Now, we're all familiar with traffic lights. It starts pretty early. As kids, we're fascinated by the three colors and the meanings behind them. Many of us spent some portion of our childhood playing the stoplight game. Then it continues into adulthood, at least for most of us, as we learn the rules of the road on our way to getting our first taste of freedom, our driver's license. In fact, the green, yellow, and red of the basic traffic light is so universal, it's no surprise that YouTube is filled with videos on how you can produce your own traffic light experiment using easily available chemicals. Just some basic sugar water, sodium hydroxide, and indigo carmine will enable you to go from yellow to red to green and back again, which got us to thinking. For our very first Fluorescence Friday video, maybe we could do a version of the traffic light experiment with photochemistry. And then we realized, we don't actually know how to change a single solution into three different colors with an LED light. But then we got an idea. We have a photoreactor, specifically our very own photoredox box, and we have some basic catalysts that will fluoresce the three primary colors of your standard traffic light. The first catalyst is really just a control. It's simple soapy water. Our second catalyst is going to be our green. What is it? Good question. We forgot to write it down, but if you're interested, let us know in the comments and we'll figure it out. The third catalyst is going to be our yellow, and the fourth and final catalyst obviously will be our red. We placed all the catalysts into one of our vial holders and look, I know what you're thinking. Duh. It's pretty easy to tell which colors are going to be which. And you're right, but we're doing this for the lighting effect. With the vial holder placed in the photoreactor, we can turn on the LED. We'll go through each one individually. You can see the fourth catalyst is already in there and is kind of a purpley red. Our third catalyst is a strong yellow, and you may recognize the glow from some of our other videos. Finally, we place the green in the vial and whoa, that is bright. Sort of like those neon glow sticks you played with as a kid or at your last music festival. That green is eerily reminiscent of a movie from my childhood. Ah, that's right. Careful, Superman. Anyway, thanks for watching our first contribution to Fluorescence Friday. If you have any questions about what we did here today or have any other ideas for things you'd like to see in the future, please let us know in the comments below or follow us on Twitter.